today we're going to cram in Burnery Island, the coffee shop, North Ewest, South Ewest, <laughs> and the park up for the night. That's all today, so keep watching. So today is Saturday, um, we, that beautiful beach that we were at, um, we decided to stay an extra day there because um, it was absolutely stunning. Um, easy access onto the beach with the dogs, easy access onto the beach for us. Um, had a great time there, absolutely brilliant. Last night we were caught up in the tail end of a big storm, so all night the van was just like this and <laughs> it was a bit hairy, like you could feel the van really I thought it was going to tip over at some point but anyway we've getting up this morning weather's still not great still got uh, quite strong winds and stuff but uh, we've just left that beach and we've just drove um, not even a mile further around the coast there's a little harbour where you can top up on water you can dispose of uh, any of your, your grey waste and your sanitary waste um, and there's public toilets and also a nice shower in there as well so yeah really good um just donations for using the toilets and i think the shower was a pound for three minutes so i'll just show you where we're at at the minute flick you around so obviously this is the harbour where we're standing at the moment um obviously just round it's really windy you can see we've got uh, the boats pulling there. It's just a small bit of harbour, this one. Um, and then where we were, so where we've just came from, is just the other side where that house is in the distance. I can't see it on there, but there's a little house just on the, that peninsula there, and there's a house. We were on the beach just on the other side of that, which is literally the road just comes around here comes around and there it's probably a mile at the most um, but I wouldn't have even thought it was that but uh, yeah as you can see it's, it's a bit windy this morning um, we've got the van packed up um, we're going to head down to the coffee shop where we actually first started on this island um, our original plan was to come onto the island, have a quick drive round here, then head down to North Ewester and South Ewester and have a look round there, and then we get in the ferry tonight, uh, later on today, in, no, sorry, tomorrow, Sunday, um, early morning Sunday, we're getting the ferry from South Ewester back across to Auburn. So, the plan today is, um, <coughs> go to the coffee shop, get some breakfast and then we're going to have a, a quick drive around the rest of this island because obviously because of the problem I had with a window we haven't getting to really say much and then when we stumbled across that lovely beach we thought we'll just stop here. <laughs> so, so today we're going to cram in Burnery Island, the coffee shop, North Ewest, South Ewest <laughs> and a park up for the night. That's all today so keep watching. Sorry, we're just charging you up because... Uh, just charging you. Just charging you just up a little bit. A yeah, little bit flat. A yeah, little bit. So, we've just been to that coffee shop, uh, cafe thing, Bistro. where it all started Bistro when shop. we first arrived. <laughs> Bistro and shop. Um, yeah, so we've just had a um, breakfast roll. Um, and now we're heading Very back nice across. So that was, what was Burnery Island. So we're just coming across this causeway again. I know we drove over here the other day. Um, but this causeway um, takes us to North Ewest. Can I just stop you a sec? <sighs> You're always stopping. Go I on know. then. You got me a mic? Yes. Can I just give Teresa and Terry a big shout out, please, um, from the lovely beach that we came from. She was asking you about the van. Yes, she was. Yeah, lovely couple from Shrop Shropshire. Shropshire, I believe. Yes. Because she asked uh, you if it was all vintage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she was questioning 
is me van, has it got private plates on or is it really a 2005? <laughs> and I said, yes, it is really a 2005. And she was like, oh, because my bumpers is really grey and yours isn't. And I, I explained that I'd actually painted them with uh, Halford's plastic coat stuff that they do and recommended them to us. So anyway, a big shout out to them, lovely couple that we Teresa had a, a nice, nice chat with on the beach. Yeah, really it, nice. Yeah, go on. So, <laughs> back to... Back to the view today. So, we've just came across the causeway and this is now north of the Uist. Um, now, when we came on here the other day, obviously we had to head straight across as an emergency to the garage to try and sort the window out, which is yeah. currently wedged up with a piece of wood. Um, and hanging off in disarray. That'll be another video. But what we actually done, we drove along this road and then when you get to the Tate Junction, we turned right to go to the garage. Today we're going to turn left and take in the other side of the island. And ultimately we're heading south, but we're going to go down the east side of the island. Um, so, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we'll uh, take you with us and we'll have a look. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Yeah, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What's that say? Right. So, I was going to turn left here, but it's a dead end. <laughs> so, you can actually only go one way at this point, but I'm sure... What does that say? Speed I'm sure further along, we can turn off and head down that way. I think. Let's just see where the road takes us. Yeah, we're just going to drive. Yeah, we said... Got you plenty, lost. plenty of tiger in the tank. Aye, and if you get lost, you're always seeing something new. Look at that beach over there. I didn't say that at all. What I say is you never find anything new unless you get lost. That's true. Yeah. That's an amazing beach. Yeah. Nobody didn't see it like it was just pointing forward. Oh, yeah. I would look at that. That's amazing. I must admit, I mean, oh. me and Alison's just been saying now that we would definitely 100% come back to Bernaria. Um, it is such a beautiful, even though it's tiny, it's such a beautiful island. It's one of my favourite islands now. Um, it is really small. The people are absolutely so friendly. So friendly. Um, and it is just it's stunning. It's stunning. Yeah. Even so, Bernaria and Ewers, what we've saw of Ewers so far is... Even in like the rain and the... Oh, I mean, it still looks beautiful right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, the views. It, it is just stunning. And you know what? If we were doing this again, we wouldn't bother with the sky. I know that sounds weird for... Well, I'm we've not... Done, we've done yeah, sky. We're not dissing sky because it was beautiful. That was beautiful as well. But what we would actually do next time, I think, is drive to Auburn or somewhere and just get a ferry straight across to here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it is absolutely Obviously, because it was a really long drive for you, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just open my window because my door's open. And I'm oh, just going to... Oh, very funny. Oh, oh hang on. Is the rain coming in? No. We're plugged into the power, aren't we? Uh-oh. There you go. So I'm just going to try and show you a little bit of this. Car? This beach. I mean, that's absolutely stunning. So this is just on North Uist, just over the causeway from Burnaria. This is coming into the, the little village or town of Lochmaddy, um, which we are on the 
east coast of North Uist. Absolutely stunning, um, stunning views. So I was just saying, Andrew, um, like he's just been talking about, you've got the ochre colours of the seaweed. Um, you've got the purple of the heathers. You've got the crocosmia plants out all over the island, which oh, is bright orange. Millions, aren't there? Yeah. The salt lake. And then the pampas grass all over, and you've got some little yellow ones. I, I don't even know what they are. Yeah. Look at that, the pampas grass all over. So the colours on the island clashing against the purple heather is just beautiful. Amazing. Have a look on that map there we're actually on the Isle of Ben Bakula so up on the top here is North Uist we've came across a couple of further causeways now we're on this middle bit which is Ben Bakula then we'll have another causeway towards South Uist and at the bottom of South Uist is where we'll be getting the ferry tomorrow so yeah interesting So, Scottish weather requires Scottish equipment. So we have. You were in the sea yesterday. The Scottish, <laughs> I was. Scottish hat. Yes, we've gone all nuts. So, just. Uh, we drove through where I said North Buist and South Buist, and we're now about 50 yards away from the ferry terminal. Yeah, but well, that one's been cancelled. Just because the weather is really bad, we thought we would try and see if we could just yeah. get on an earlier ferry. Because the fog is that dense, we cannot see anything. Um, so we are just driving through rain. Um, although the scenery is still outstanding, yeah. it is covered in fog. So we decided we'll head to the ferry terminal, see if we can flag an earlier one. But the ferry for this afternoon has actually been cancelled because of the weather. So the next earliest ferry is the one that we were already booked on which is tomorrow morning. Now, if we were parked up anywhere else, we'd have needed to get up really early, sort of half past four, quarter five, um, and then drive down to the ferry, which I didn't fancy driving on these roads in the dark. But we've now managed to get parked up right next to the ferry terminal yeah. um, in a little car park. And ironically, there's a tourist information and there's 24 hour toilets next door, so even nice better. Shop. Yeah, and a little gift shop. Yeah. Obviously, where you can buy hats like this. Especially when the heat has got an error on it. Yeah, and obviously we've now just came across uh, O4 error on our heater, which is pointing towards the fuel pump. <laughs> we have plenty of fuel in there, but I've got a sneaky feeling there's something just... There isn't any smell of diesel, so no, I know no. it's not leaking any no. diesel, but it might just need repriming or something like that. We've Something's happened. Yeah. But... That's another job for when we'll get home. I'm not doing ah, anything today. Ace. So today we're just hunkering down. We. Well, that's nearly two o'clock. Yeah. So, so we'll have an afternoon of movies. Yeah. So just a uh, iPad on its and bracket. Yeah. And we're just going to chill out in the van until tomorrow morning when we hopefully board the ferry. Uh, Do hopefully. You know what? Hopefully that doesn't cancel. It's not cold. Cancel. It's, not it's, not cold. Cold. it's not just cold. really, really wet. So. Yeah. Alison buying woolly hats is probably the worst thing. What we could have done with is a wetsuit each. We'll be coming back. Oh no. We'll need the hats. Yeah, there's yeah, plenty yeah. of use for a Scotland hat. <laughs> anyway, so we will catch up with you a little bit later In and see how things go. If the weather improves where we're at, 
I'll give you a bit show around because yeah. it it it's does nice. look really nice where we're at. It does look um, like a park. Yeah, so we'll show you around a little bit. Bye. So I've just been having a bit chill out in the van, just watched a movie because obviously the, we had really high winds and the rain was just coming down sideways and we were just getting drenched. So we're in, um, where are you, Lock Boysdale. Um, this is where we're, I think that's how it's pronounced, this is where we're getting the ferry in the morning. Um, it is an early ferry, uh, sort of six o'clock-ish, but it's ideal because I'll just flick you around so you can have a look. So we've got the ferry there, which this afternoon's ferry was cancelled due to the weather. But that's there and the one we'll be leaving on tomorrow, which is the next one. Um, so that's there and we are now parked just there. So ideal in the morning, uh, we can just sort of get up, drive forward, straight on the ferry. Idale and another good thing about Og Boysdale is it does have a toilet block. There is a shower in there as well. Uh, they're open 24 hours a day. There's a little tourist information shop on the side as well. A couple of gifts and things in there. Um, there's additional parking with electric charge in there. And just across the other side of this beer. Um, looks like there's a bit of a park up there. Let's see, campervan park there currently. But obviously now the, the rain's stopped. I'm sort of just have a bit wander around and just show you that, I mean, again, beautiful landscape um, with the hills in the background and uh, yeah, just great. So just walking further down towards where the ferry terminal is. Looks like there's a little uh, hut for, I don't know, breakfast, I'm guessing. So I mean, it's closed currently. Um, here's just a row of houses down here. Um, and where I'm currently walking, here seems to be just like a nice garden area. Um, I'll show you down there. I'm not sure whether that's some kind of memorial or something. I can't find any information on it, but I'll show you in two seconds. Um, here's a really good map of uh, North Uist, uh, Bembacoola, South Uist, right down to uh, Loch Boysdale, and it's got a good legend on it which shows all of the um, places to eat, stop, camp, park, things like that. So I think what I'll do is I'll take a photograph of that and I'll turn that into a PDF that uh, you can actually download. So I'll put a link to that in this video I think. So just heading a little bit further down. It's still really windy at the moment but uh, at least it's not raining which is good. So we've got a signpost up there, St John, 4,153 kilometres, Malig, 95 kilometres, and then I think on the other side we've got, uh, where do we see? Just on the other side, we've got Auburn, 139 kilometres, which is where we're heading in the morning on that ferry. We have this in this garden area. Um, it's obviously depicting a boat, SS Marlock. Um, so I'm not sure if this is some kind of memorial garden for that, if there's something that's potentially happened with SS Marlog. So I haven't got any information at the moment, but say what I can find and uh, put that in the description. But yeah, so obviously we've got the, the front of the ship here, sides of the ship, funnel, and then obviously the rear of the ship. There is actually um, fresh water tap there as well, where you could fill up um, obviously your, your water carriers and stuff. There's also one on the side of that toilet block as well, so if you need to carry on your journey that way. So, slight update. Um, we're obviously parked up where you'd seen earlier on there, but I've uh, just received a text message uh, from the ferry company. 
which reads uh, book and reference blah 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 due to a technical issue impacting the vessel's engine which requires further investigation your sailing from Lock Boysdale to Oban on Sunday the 15th of September at 7am is liable to disruption or cancellation at short notice. Uh, for status information, click this link. Um, if you wish to rebook, telephone this number. So we'll just watch this space and see what comes of that. So obviously it's now late on. It's what quarter past seven at night now. So we're just going to wait and see and see what happens. If it gets cancelled, then we'll take it as it comes and figure out our next move. So, we'll let you know. So, just had another message through uh, a little bit later. So, book and reference, blah, blah, blah. Investigation to the vessel's engine. You're sailing from Lock Boysdale to Auburn Sunday the 15th September at 7am. Will be operating as scheduled. Please check in 45 minutes prior to the departure um, so that was lucky so it looks like um, everything's going well so fingers crossed in the morning we do get the board and uh, yeah get sorted so watch this space oh morning guys um, right bright and early this morning uh, so it is what time is it Alison? half past five in the big river van yeah at best five in the big brother van, still named midges. Um I know, I think we're just going a bit nuts at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so up bright and early for this ferry today. Um, we haven't had any more updates, so it looks like it's all go. Um, we've pulled into the car park and area and the guys moved us forward right up to the gate. Um, the yeah, so it's... I'll just spin you around. So we're right up against the gate there. It's a strange setup this one because the car park that leads all the traffic in here is actually at the side and then you have to swing around in a big arc to then come up here. But obviously with the ferry being cancelled yesterday there's no traffic on the on the ferry at the moment so we're not waiting for anyone coming off which is uh, not too bad. Um, so last night obviously we were parked in the in the lay-by just up the way there um didn't really get any sleep did you sleep at all i did actually did you yeah <laughs> again really allison did. slept through it i was really hurting as i was tossing and tossing and turning all night last oh, night I did have, um i had enough animal teeth <sighs> all night so uh, obviously there was cars backwards and forwards it's it's not actually it's a dead end street so you come down here and at the end of the street is the ferry terminal so i can only assume that the cars that were coming up and down was maybe a shift change on the ferry um and obviously i think some would maybe parked a bit further up in the water and down so you could hear them talking as they were coming down as well so yeah it it wasn't the quietest sleep but you know what do you expect parking on the side of the road that close so doesn't make any difference but we're now sitting waiting for the ferry um i think the last check-in is still about 45 minutes um but yeah you do have to check in early he's checked us in already yeah so we've been checked in so now we're just sitting waiting um it will be a, a good half an hour wait or it'll give us a chance to get out and stretch our legs so just on the ferry obviously <laughs> It has been a little bit rough uh, coming over the open water, but now we're in the channel area heading towards open, and obviously the sea's calmed down quite a lot now. So, Bratton boys on deck. This way, son.
ferry now. So we're now looking at the Isle of Mull. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Fabulous holiday. Right, yeah. that's the end of our holiday. For now. <laughs> so, like always, we're about uh, five minutes from home. Yeah. So, I thought we'd just finish off with a little bit of roundup. So, overall, fantastic holiday. Yeah. Um, Alison getting on a ferry, <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Alison getting on the second ferry. 10 out of 10. Alison getting on the third ferry. 10 out of 10. Who knew? Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, we will be jumping on ferries more often. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> so, yeah, we've thoroughly enjoyed this holiday. Um, it has been a long one for us. Um, Longest obviously it really takes it out of us when we uh, oh. when we're out and about yeah. just sleeping in the van and obviously handling the four dogs it's 
stuff like that wouldn't change it for anything but it is hard work and we are both really going to suffer tomorrow but the good thing is we can suffer in the comfort of our own home and in the comfort of our own bed. Oh, we did it! <laughs> we did, we done it and thoroughly enjoyed it. So, wouldn't change a thing. Obviously, on day one, we drove straight up to Fort William, which was a really long drive, obviously, stopping off along the way, which makes it a lot longer to get up there, stopping off for the dogs so we can get them out and exercise them, um, let them do the business, feed and water them. Um, and obviously it gives me a break from me driving as well because I struggle to drive too long anywhere. So, you know, a four hour drive can turn into a six hour drive and a six hour can turn into God knows how long. So, but we done that because we wanted to get a bit of a head start. Um, and then obviously we drove up to Sky, thoroughly enjoyed our time on Sky, absolutely yeah, stunning fantastic and um, we had a couple of nights on one beach because it was really nice and we had a really good park up um uh, harris and lewis yeah Island. yeah um and yeah so we got the ferry across to um oh, harris and lewis that, that was amazing the beaches and uh, yeah again uh, really really good we thoroughly really enjoyed that yeah that was nice yeah we drove right up to the top because i didn't want to miss anything so we drove right to the very north and right to the very south yeah and um, i can't remember if we got a bridge i got a ferry across to the next island I can't remember either. Can't remember either. Hopefully you'll see it all on the video. But I know obviously later in the week we did start to get some um dodgy weather. We had a storm. <laughs> yeah, we that I think was we, I think we had a couple of storms. Uh, Do you know what? I mean one park up that we had yeah. was absolutely stunning really on like a rocky head. Um oh, yeah, but that was nice. the wind and the rain was coming at you that hard. It was hard work just opening the van doors and shutting the doors. <laughs> that was a nightmare. Then, obviously, when we went across to Burnaria Island, absolutely stunning wow. little island, considering it's just five by three miles, absolutely stunning. But obviously, that's where we ran into the issue with the window. Yeah. So, we've currently got, jobs got a, yeah we've got a window wedged up with a piece of wood at the moment <laughs> um allison's having to get in and out of the driver's side which is a nightmare yeah, um obviously Brocken's having to get in and out of the driver's side and you know this is why this is why allison's sitting right next That's to us at this point at the door. yeah it reminds me not to try and open that door yeah so we have got i have actually got that part coming uh, yeah, i've already ordered it. that um, and I'll get the, the lads in the garage along the road to fit that for us. And then the other island, uh, North and South. So North Ewest and Ewest, then Bembacoola yes. and ben then yes. and then South Ewest. Again, we did just sort of, that was like a um, just a pit stop. We sort of drove around them islands. But we saw just have a look. How many beautiful coves was there? Stunning. Absolutely stunning and loads of them. And lovely people on the way. Oh really really friendly just everybody was so friendly it was, it was i know people say that all the time about but people Islanders in scotland and stuff and but really really nice people that were bumped into. yeah but i mean obviously we'll give shout outs to everybody who we actually spoke well, to and got to really speaking to um, yeah i got speaking to a lovely uh elderly couple um to dear um dog. yeah that uh, a big oh, i can't remember what it was um it was a bit like St Bernard, but not, but not. yeah, <laughs> um, I can't remember what they said it was now, but anyway, the, the elderly couple, the guy was uh, 86, um, still fit as a lop, yeah. a lot fitter than we are, um, <laughs> and they had two around the islands and stuff, and that I've done for years, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic, yeah. I and mean, we've already sort of pre-planned our next trip, I think we'll head up and we'll do the Isle of Mull, might even jump from the Isle of Mull, back on uh, like Barra, across the Barra, Barra. and yeah. then work our way back up but I think you know what I think we'd probably stop when we get to um, Burnaria yeah yeah because that's where it is for us yeah so yeah, absolutely yes. fantastic so anyway we're going to leave that video there because these probably will spill across into a few different ones <laughs> so as usual all of the good stuff please help support the channel by subscribing if you haven't already 
please like the videos please share the videos if you found them interesting and useful yeah. please leave us comments because we do really appreciate your comments as yeah. well if you'd like to support us a little bit further on buy us a coffee please check that out as well you don't have to just buy us a coffee you can go on there and um, I will be putting some more still images up there as well yeah. and for a little bit more than a buy me a coffee you can actually download the digital file of that photograph and you can print it off yourself and you can have it hanging on your wall in your living room and if you like pictures this time. I've, I've took my still Enjoy camera with them. us this time and i have took yeah. a few extra pictures so they are just going to be randoms but you know they'll be nice hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> um but yeah sure. We're nearly over, I'll turn you around because it's a lovely sunset. Yeah, so thanks again for watching and thank you for all of your support. Bye. Bye.